CW7, effective 1401, 25 May 2023. You will assume your duties as the commanding officer of the Marine Corps Base of Hawaii. Signed, David H. Berger, General, United States Marine Corps. Mr. Spiros is a fantastic speaker. I'm not going to try to set the bar too high for you, Spiros, but, uh, but the remarks will be uh, no doubt memorable. But uh, Spiros came into the job here in 2020, uh, shortly after the global pandemic started. And Spiros had the, uh, the challenge, the challenge of leading the Marine Corps to fly throughout the pandemic. Okay, now it's my honor to, uh, to introduce the former commanding officer of Marine Corps Base Hawaii, Colonel Spiros Kuparakis. Spiros, congratulations. As the commander of the base, I did two things. I stepped into a position, I saluted, and then I moved out of the way. Through the commands of a base commander, all of that other action happened. Other people carried the guide on. Other people conducted the inspections. Other people prepared the ceremony. As the commander, I commanded that we do a ceremony, and at the end of the day, I only saluted once. I said no words. And they delivered a guide on to me that I only carried for about eight seconds. It's been in the hands of others. It's been carried by others. And as commanders, we try to lead and we try to make those moments the most efficient possible. So when we give those orders, and Chester, when you give those orders, remember, they are carrying the guide on for you. We only got to hold it for just a very short moment in time. So how we order and what we order matters because it impacts people's lives. And what you see there today is not aircraft that fly around Hawaii. Force Design has put aircraft here that fly from Hawaii to support our partners and our allies. The Japanese, the Australians, the Indonesians, the Koreans, and everyone else who wants support from the United States. Hawaii now, through force design, can depart today and in less than 36 hours be with our partners and allies in the first and second island chain. That is different. And that didn't happen because of me. It happened because of many other people sitting in the stands here. And it happened because of all of those Marines and sailors behind me. And while those weapons are tactical and strategic, I actually believe the Marines behind me are the most strategic weapons you have. Halamui Lo, Ahui Ho, and it gives me great pleasure to introduce the commanding officer of Marine Corps Base Hawaii, Jeremy Chester Bevan. Simplify Dallas. The good news about being the commander for 15 minutes is I don't have a lot to say because it's only been 15 minutes. My commitment uh, is that I will bring the best version of myself every day and, and be working incredibly hard uh, to capitalize on the foundation that you've already built and take the next steps uh, for Marine Corps Base Hawaii, for this community, for the Windward community, uh, to posture both the Marine Corps uh, as well as our communities where they need to be. Commander for Headquarters Battalion is First Lieutenant Jarrett M. Wheeler.